Hello everyone! How's everything? You guys doing good too? I'm doing good too. Let's get on today's video session. Here we go! Just after this. Okay guys! So how are you doing today? Today's a big day, you know? This is War Racing Evolution on the Nintendo GameCube. Do you remember this? One of the most amazing Namco racing game. Yeah! Woo! Today is a exciting day, as always been. Oh yeah! Cut! Yeah! Rock and roll with me, boys! Cut! Woo! Yeah! Oh yeah! As always! <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, cool! So, welcome on my video session today! Today's session is so important! But why is it so important? We are going to be going on each system one by one. But why am I doing that? The reason for this is we need to thoroughly understand each system that kept on releasing. And at the end of this final, we're going to decide which the greatest Name console ever made on this planet Earth. Whoa, planet Earth. Wow, well, well, this planet Earth is amazing, isn't it? But the, a lot of people on this planet Earth don't understand what this planet Earth is all about. So, well, today is something really, really massive. We're going to start it with SNK, the guys who made arcade cabinets first, yeah? The whole discussion will be on SNK today. Us, is this company so important? Well, they are important because they do make arcade cabinets and all that. They'll be making one of the pretty good arcade cabinets, right? We all know that. When you go to trips, you will see all the arcade machines, even in the arcade centers. Okay, one thing you need to understand in this, what I'm doing here, what it is, we're going to go through each system day by day this is going to be really long okay it's not just going to finish in one go we're going to go in alphabetic order how these machines released then i'm going to explain each system and then we're going to decide what's the most amazing system ever developed yeah so let's get started then snk has been there for a pretty long time they've been there since 1990s yeah where they brought us arcade cabinets. The big machines, yeah, where you put the coins in, they'll be bringing these kind of systems. And what more can we say about them? It's just an arcade cabinet, isn't it? You're just playing games and all that arcade sticks and bones and all that. Now, this company has brought us SNK Need You AES, SNK Need You CD, SNK Need You CD Z. Now, the Neo Geo AES is a cartridge-based system. Neo Geo CD is single speed. Neo Geo CD Z is twin speed. Yes, it's a faster drive, which loads up the, you know, the, the line very quickly. That's what Neo Geo CD Z did. Now, the thing here that the megs of the cartridge system was more larger. It can hold up more data than the CDs. That's kind of strange, isn't it? Because the CD, oh, sorry, the cartridge holding more capacity than the CD. And you gotta understand that, yeah? Because the C CD and CDZ, it's just a speed, speed difference. Isn't it? And the biggest problem here was that when it was released, the system was really, really expensive back in the 1990s. Very, very expensive indeed. And then they go and release cartridges. Blimey! These cartridges are really, really expensive! 
really, 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 really expensive. Oh my god. Help, 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 help. Help me please, somebody. Yeah. These were really, really expensive. And I was quite surprised. Why would SNK make a system really expensive? But problem with here was the components, even inside the, the console and the cartridge, they were really expensive to make, man. There was no control over it. So what could the company even do? I mean, the company could have made these components a bit cheaper. But why would somebody spend £399 or £499 on a system? It's too much money in the 1990. I mean, people can't afford that, can they? And on top of that, these cartridges, they're from £250 up to £2,000. That's crazy. That's crazy. When the other cartridges were around about £39.99. Who would want to spend £250 minimum on a cartridge? £250! What? That's too much! What? So you get one game out of it, £250. Crazy! This is Neo Geo Man we're talking about here. Oh man, I don't know what to say about this system, man. Yeah? This is one of the systems. Yeah. Then the next one is Sega Mega Drive. Sega Mega Drive was a very popular system by Sega. It had very, very quality games, you know, like Sonic the Hedgehog and stuff like that. So many quality games on there. The system was at a competitive price. And the cartridge was at good price as well. So that was a good thing about it. And and because of that, it did really well. It did really well. And the support for this system was very, very good. Yeah? Yeah, there was a bit of hardware problems in the Sega Mega Drive. Where there was um, sound problems. Sound problems. The sounds weren't clear enough. And even when you put it on the TV, when we got the TV experience, it's quite dark. It was quite dark. Then Sega released two add-ons called the Sega Mega Drive 32X. Now the Sega Mega Drive 32X, obviously add-ons don't do so well. It flopped. Both of these add-ons were big flops. The customers didn't give Sega Mega Drive 32X any chance. You know why? Because it's an add-on then you have to pay more money for it. And a lot of people didn't want to do that. Then after that, first uh, Sigma Grad 32X was a cartridge system. There was lots of cartridge games released with it, but they weren't a good support for it because the developers knew that it's not doing so well. So yeah, it's terrible. The next add-on was the Sega Mega CD. Uh, this was a CD-based system. Most majority games were on discs on this. No, of course, there were CDs. The problem with this system was the filmic graphics that we looked at. It just the films are just moving around. Yeah. So this these scenes are just moving. You just got a target and you're shooting around. I mean, would you say that's a good idea? Because like it's just it's just a target system. I don't think it's fun at all, is it? Then you got some games like Road Avenger, you're just going left, right, left, right, and you're pressing turbo. Oh, seriously, is that a good control for driving a car? I don't know what to say about that. It looks really weird. Then you had games like Starblade, the screen was too small. Then you had other loads of like games like Star Wars Rebel Assault. The cutscenes looked horrible. They weren't even clear, man. It looked horrible. Trust me. I don't like it at all. One of the most uh, amazing games was uh, Sonic CD on it. There were obviously some other quality games on it as well. I don't want to go through that. It didn't do so well anyway. Now, the next system is Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo used a thing called 3D FX. Now, 3D FX is a special effects when they're shooting 
you bang against the walls and the ships explode, you see the great special effects uh, used on this Super Nintendo 3D FX. Now, the good thing about this system was uh, clear sound, amazing graphics. Yes, Super Nintendo was famous for that man. Really, really good man. Really good. I was quite surprised how well this system really took off. And there were games like uh, for FX, there was like Star Wing, Stone Press FX, Street Racer, uh, and so on. They were pretty good games. I mean, there was other stuff like, I don't know, Fighters History, Fear of Fury, Sam Majora, Super Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 2, New Challenges. Really good system this was. Quality stuff, then there was from Nintendo side of things. Uh, Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart, Pilot Wings. I don't know what the Nintendo games were there on there. There's quite a lot. Super Mario All Stars, y Yoshi's Island. There were quite a lot of quality games, and then there was other games like International Superstar Soccer, and so on. It's a quality system, man. Really, really good. Did really well. Very successful. The system's price was competitive. Cartridges, good prices. Very good. Then the follow-up system was the Panasonic 3DO. What do we think about Panasonic 3DO? Now, this machine was manufactured by Panasonic themselves. But the technology was from 3DO company. They released this system at the wrong time yeah they released it when there was Sega Mega Drive and Super Nintendo era that was completely wrong if the momentum was doing so well with Sega Mega Drive and Super Nintendo why would you release a Panasonic 3D in there? that's a big mistake releasing at the wrong time the price of the machine was too expensive. CDs were good priced. Yeah. Okay. Stuff like that. Was this system any good though? Was it good? It was quality. It was quality, man. It was quite advanced. Very, very advanced. I have to say that. The system was based on CDs. It's a CD based system. It was doing stuff like, uh, obviously, it's playing Panasonic Trio games. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, audio CDs, C, uh, CD plus G discs. I think he's doing that. I can't be wrong. Tell me some Malik to me. Come on, you honor that. For the CDs. And there was an adapter where you can use, you can play VCD movies. Wow. Look at that. It's got all of this technology in there. Okay, let's talk about its games. There was a Panasonic Burning Soldier, uh, Star Blade, Super Street Fighter. Wow, these tiles were absolutely impressive. Mm. Then there was Need for Speed, Road Rash. Uh, Star Wars Rebel Assault, really good on this. Crystal Clear, cutscenes. Not like Sega Mega City Dodgy. Much, much better than that. It's quite good. Phoenix 3, made by Studio 3DO and Cyclone Studios. It's quite a good title by them. Very, very good one. Uh, Slam and Gem 95, stuff like that. Samurai Showdown. Pretty interesting stuff there, I would say. Yeah. The quite interesting games on there, yeah. Uh, Total clips, yeah. It was a quality, quality system man, in its own right. Okay, the system didn't do so well because of the price tag of the system, but overall, the Panasonic Radio was an absolutely incredible system, 
and it was manufactured from Panasonic and it was made in Japan. Yeah, a really good machine. Next one is Atari Jaguar. A 64 bit is a cartridge based system. The system was terrible. It was absolutely terrible, man. It was rubbish. It's absolutely rubbish. This system had too many games from Sega Mega Drive and Super Nintendo. Stupid. It's stupid, man. There, there were games like on the checkered flag, average, poor control system. I mean, the most majority of these games. Animals of Predator, Doom, Iron Soldier, or Strike. They were like first person shooter games, aren't they? There's nothing else on there. Even some of these games didn't play so well. They're quite average. And there were a lot of other games like. Uh, too many stupid games on there. Like Dragon Bruce Lee Story, Flashback, Pitfall. These aren't Sega Mega Drive or Super Nintendo. What the heck? They're just like normal, basic games. Then there was games like. I don't know, man. Zero Five! <laughs> Raiden! It's just a dreadful machine, man. It's not in quality titles. What the heck is that? Then they go on, already the Atari Jaguar was a flop. Then the Dirty Company go on with the Atari Jaguar CD. Psst. Stupid, man. Absolutely stupid. This was a CD based system uh, playing Jaguar CD games, photo CDs, new CD. Oh, oh, yeah. CD plus G discs. And that's it. It's rubbish. There's nothing on there. You only had games like Baromorph, uh, Highlander, RSL G2. What the heck is that? World Toy Racing. <laughs> it's absolutely rubbish. And then when you buy this pack of Jack the CD, you get this four stupid. There's only one damn game in there. And there's three which are non games. <laughs> Check this out. The first one is Blue Lightning. Okay, it's a good game. Second second one is Mist Demo. The third one is Tempest 2000 Soundtrack. It's a soundtrack, man. The fourth one, Vidgrid. It's got his music tracks and you're just doing like puzzles on them. This is stupid, man. What kind of stupid package is that? <laughs> utter, utter madness. Utter madness. Now, look at this. All of the machines we mentioned in this topic. SNK need you AS. SNK need you CD. SNK need you CDZ. I think the best one out of this bunch will be in SNK Media, yes. Yeah, I will go for that one, yeah. Sega Mega Drive, yeah, recommended. Super Nintendo, recommended. Okay. Panasonic 3 Radio, recommended. Atari Jaguar, no. Atari Jaguar CD, no. So there you go, the same recommendation systems in there. So these are the systems I don't want to cover in this topic. And in, even in the, my final video, we will be doing the top five systems. What are the greatest top five systems? Okay. Greatest systems. We're going to cover all the machines, yeah? Tomorrow, we, yeah, maybe tomorrow, yeah, we will be covering from Sega Saturn, yeah? So what will we be talking about tomorrow? We will be talking about Sega Saturn, Sony PlayStation, uh, Nintendo 64, Sega Dreamcast.
Yeah. I'm going in the time how the arrow is going. We're going to be covering these four systems tomorrow. If I recommend any of them. Yeah. So watch out for that tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed my video today. It's pretty quick, isn't it? Yeah. So there you have it. Give me a like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.